What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, Bring you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with one of the best teams I've played on the ranked doubles ladder. Hands down, this Toga Tomorrow team has been phenomenal. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Rocking in the front spot here, we have this Weezing, and there are three Pokemon on this team that you can lead with. You have that Weezing, that Braviary, and that Togedemaru. They are just phenomenal leads here. You want to lead that Weezing whenever they're rocking, like, ability Pokemon, like Sandstorm teams. Like, if they trying to go off in the beginning with a Sandstorm for the T-Tar, you say, nah, you just run out there with that Weezing and cancel out abilities. You can also lead that Weezing when they're rolling, like, Belly Jump or Colossal Steam Engine teams because you have Clear Smog and you can roll up for there. Same thing with Trick Rooms. You have Taunt. You can take it away from them. Then you got this Brady, Ari, and Toga Tomorrow, who we will probably be leading most of the time because you got that Tailwind to set up for that speed. That's kind of what the Brady, Ari is here for. And that Toga Tomorrow has Nuzzle to set up those Paralyzes and Fake Out. Seriously, the Toga Tomorrow is so underrated. Probably one of the best double Pokemon, hands down. You just paralyze everybody with that Nuzzle and it will pester them for the rest of the match. Then you have your special attacker in Duraludon right here. Who's a beast? Do I need to say anything more? Has that weakness policy on him and can just rock out and dominate. Then we got our physical attackers in the final spot with Extra Drill and Gyarados. You don't want to run one of them on your team. So you usually want to go in with two of your leads. So either the Weezing, the Togedemaru, the Braviary, Togedemaru, or the Braviary Weezing combo. And then with your Duraludon probably always. And then one of your physical attackers. Both the physical attackers, Extra Drill and Gyarados are strong. It just depends what Pokemon they have to help you decide on who you should go with. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I highly recommend it. Like, if you want to push Master Ball tier on doubles, this is the team to do it with. This team is phenomenal. Seriously, if you learn it, I have no doubt in my mind you guys will push Master Ball tier. Seriously, it is so good. Also, let me know for question of the day, do you guys like single battles or double battles more? Because when I first started playing ranked battles, I really did enjoy singles battles. But now that I'm starting to play doubles a lot more, I absolutely love it like 10 times more. There's just so much more you can do with it, and it's so much more versatile and so much more fun. But guys, without further ado, let's get rocking out with this top tier doubles team. Oh yeah, we're going to be bringing in the legendary Togedemaru here. I absolutely love this Pokemon. It rocks out and does so much work. Cannot wait to show it all for you guys. We're going to be leading the Togedemaru and Brady Ari in this matchup. We're not going to be bringing in the Weezing considering there's no really us uh, abilities that really rock out for him as well. So we don't really need him too much. And we don't. he doesn't have a lot of stat boosting, so Clear Smog won't do too much. So he's going to ride the pine this one. Then we're going to be bringing Duraldon as our special attacker. Then we need a physical attacker, either Exegil or Gyarados. So let me look. Let me think. And that extra drill is totally coming in. It just rocks out so much with that choice scar. It just, it just does work. Like Max Rockfall will take out the Cramorant and the Rotom. We're chilling with that. He has Max Steel Spike for that Grimmsnarl. Max Quick for that Duraldon. We seriously just punk out. We seriously punk out in this match. Hopefully we can get rolling and start off strong with this token tomorrow. Because we can literally paralyze everybody and just pester them for the rest of the match. We also have Spiky Shield, which acts as a protect. So if they hit us in that protect, they will actually take damage. But it's only for physical attacks. Okay, there's his lead. There's his lead. We're going to set up a nice little Tailwind. I wonder if uh, if this Cramorant is rocking Tailwind. I'm going to fake out the... Do we fake out the Snarl? I'm going to fake out the Cramorant. If he stays in. He actually might swap. Not even going to lie. I'm just going to go Tailwind. I'm going to keep the fake out on that Cramorant. Just in case he stays in and tries to set up a Tailwind. Then we can go into a Zing Zab and kind of just punk on that thing. The Cramorant's really nothing here. He's really nothing here. Get him out of my face. I think right now he is thinking whether he should stay in with the Cramorant, set up a Tailwind, or just swap out if I'm going for the attack. But I'm faking it out anyway. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. The Togedemaru cracks me up. It is so funny. Like, he is an absolute beast. So let's see what happens. Ew, wee, little Dynamax Cramorant action? Is that what you're going for? Is it? Who is it? Dynamax and the Cramorant right off the rip like that? Okay, I see you. I see you. What is, is he, he's probably going to go into an airstream here, try to boost his speed. But we're going to get this Tailwind off. Because I think uh, either that Grimstar is going to go first with Prankster. Let's see. No, my Togedemaru does go first with the Fake Out, which is fine. That does a decent amount of damage for a Fake Out. And the Reflect's going to set up. And the Reflect is going to set up. And then we're going to get this Tailwind off, and then we're going to start nuzzling around. Hailstorm coming through. Wow. Was not expecting this. Was not expecting a hailstorm. We still eat that up and we're able to get a tailwind off, which is awesome. Which is just awesome. Then we're gonna go into a protect here. We are gonna go into a protect. Oh, but the hail is gonna take off our uh hail is going to take off our focus ash for a token tomorrow, but that's still fine. The citrus berry and the protect, if you go after my Braviary, should be able to do work. 
we should be able to eat up another shot and just start wasting out his Dynamax turns. We're gonna put the Paralyze on um, the Cramorant because uh, Grimstone cannot be paralyzed. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. Token tomorrow, baby. <laughs> if, if that thing was part ice, he probably would have took me out. No stab damage. Did we go Zing's at? No, we're going straight into a nuzzle. We gotta start getting these paralyzes off. And then we're just gonna go into a nice little protect here. We're gonna outspeed with that tailwind. We're working lovely here. We're working perfectly. I'm surprised he didn't go into a max airstream. Let's see what happens here. Protect comes out. Yeah, yeet, baby. Yeah, yeet. I, dude, I love this lead right here. We just speed and paralyze. Token of Mars just rocks out. You're gonna swagger him? That's fine. That is totally fine by me. We're also rocking Lightning Rod on it as his ability, so, like, Lightning moves do not come through. Come on, you gotta land this nuzzle. You gotta land this nuzzle. I need you here, Token Amaru. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Token Amaru. Look how much damage that nuzzle did. That is just a nuzzle. I'm just gonna leave that thing paralyzed. Leave it be. I'm just gonna go in from here. Another Max Hailstorm. Come on, my Braviary. Come on, my Braviary. Yes, sir. We should be able to eat up. Should be able to eat up. Yep. Wasting those turns perfectly. We are just wasting out them turns. And now we are probably just gonna go into a spiky shield here. With my uh with my little Togan Amaru and take out that Cramer with a close combat. Before my baby already does uh go out here. We should be chilling, we should be chilling. Let's go for a nice little spiky shield. Nice little spiky shield. And then go into a close combat right on that. Ooh, nope, Brave Bird. Brave Bird will work better on this Cramer. It should be able to take him out. It should be able to take him out, considering a nuzzle did that much damage. But I think it's just because it's all doubled up. Oh, don't you dare hit yourself. Oh no, not the spiky shield. Okay, I oh that thing guard it. That little biscuit. That little biscuit. That's fine. He guarded it. Brave Bird's not going to pop. And what is this uh, Grimstar going to do? Grimstar going to go after my Braviary? He's going to use Spirit Break. Oh, not my... Okay, on him. That's fine. That is totally fine. Okay, so his Dynamax is gone. His Dynamax is gone. We're going to be able to take him out from there. Hopefully my confusion ends. That would be that would be lovely. And we're going to rock out into our Duraludon here. Duraludon's going to come up clutch. We can go... We could Dynamax him. Go into a Steel Spike. He hits me with a Fairy move. That is totally fine. Trigger our weakness policy. But dude, look at our boy just dancing there. My boy Token Amaru is just like wiggling his body just a little bit. Look at him, he's bopping up and down. <laughs> but we did waste his Dynamax there, which is awesome. And we're gonna be able to take out both his Pokemon here. Hands down. In a little zing zap action. Let's go zing zap into a nice little uh do we even Dynamax? Oh, we are gonna Dynamax here. We're gonna go into a Max Steel Spike and take out the Snarl. We still have the Tailwind for a turn here. So we're chilling, we're chilling. Ogan Amaru. So if we take out both these Pokemon, we can get his one of his next two Pokemon paralyzed in, with another nuzzle. Which is huge. Which is huge. I don't know why he died in Max Kramer. That was a little, a little off by me. He's thinking he could probably just take out my Braviary and cancel out the Tailwind. Which is nice. Let's see. He's going to withdraw the Kramer. And what are you going to go into from here? The Scrafty. That is totally fine by me. I will nuzzle it next turn. But the Zingzap's going to pop off on that thing. And the Intimidate's going to come out here. But my Dural on special attacking. That's totally fine. And his Scrafty is probably going to hit my Dural and trigger a weakness policy. He's probably going to trigger a weakness policy. Uh, does Zing Zap flinch? I think it can flinch or it can paralyze. One or the other. It does something rather than just an 80 base power attack move. But here we go. Duraldon gets that Dynamax here. Let's get it. Let's go, dude. Like I said, this team is phenomenal on the ladder. I've seriously been dominating on the ladder. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Grimstar is going to set up the light screen, which is rather smart. Rather smart, but we're chilling. Let's see how much this Zing Zap does. Come on. Can you break out of this confusion? You're starting to annoy me, Token Amaru. <laughs> it's like, nah, dude, you would never annoy me. Zing Zap comes out here, and what will it do? I gotta read its description. It, I don't think it paralyzes. I think it might flinch. But there we go. Max Steel Spike punks on that Grimmsnarl. He's gonna have to throw out either the Cramorant or the other Pokemon. It doesn't really matter for me. I'm gonna nuzzle whatever he throws out. Maybe that's Scrafty. Maybe that's Scrafty. We might have to paralyze that Scrafty. Because that thing's gonna be a little bit of pain on my Duraludon's tail right here. Let's go, the Buffets are coming through. Our, I think our Tailwind ends here, though. I think our Tailwind does end. Yes, it does. It peters out. It peters out. If Peter Piper picked the peck of pickle peppers. Yeah, I can say that. You guys can't. <laughs> okay, the Cramorant pops out. We're going to nuzzle up on that Scrafty. We're going to nuzzle up on that Scrafty. Just give him a little bit of a, a little bit of action there. And then I think we're just going to roll into a Max Wormwind and take out the Cramorant. I think we're just going to take out the Cramorant because we kind of want that Scrafty to hit on my Duraludon. If we can just lower the attack there and just eat up a shot and set off that weakness policy, we'll be sitting pretty. We will be sitting pretty. We can get a paralyze on him just so it kind of slows him down. Just a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. Token Amaru does snap out of the confusion. Puts the paralyze on the Scrafty. Now, my Duraludon will go first. Triggering that attack. That attack debuff. And then we can soak up a shot even better. Look at us. You're just playing well. Token Amaru's been in this whole match. 
Oh my god, you love to see it. You love to see it. I'm gonna drop the attack sets like I want it. Yes, sir. Cramorant gone. Cramorant is out of here. Go two down, two to go. Basically, one to go. Here comes the drain punch. Just what I wanted. Look at that. And the attack drop makes us eat it up even more. And our weakness policy will trigger. Now, I'm not even worried about the Scrafty. I'm not even worried about the Scrafty. I'm going to one tap whatever comes out on that right side. And then my token tomorrow is just going to probably spiky shield or go into a zing zap on that thing. On the Scrafty. Oh, my God. Sitting pretty. Play this one beautifully. Beautifully, honestly. Just absolutely dominated. That's what I love about the scene. The Rotom comes out. What you want, Rotom? I'm sick of you, dog. I'm sick of you. Uh, do we go into a spiky shield? We could just go into a spiky shield. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into a spiky shield here. Just block some attack. And then we got to go into a sad move. Hmm. Sab steal or worm win? Um, let's go worm win. It's base 140. We'll do a little bit more than that base 130 steal. And just drop their attack. The spiky shield. Yes, sir. I love spiky shield. It is protect. It is better than a protect. Oh, let's go. Yes, sir. Spiky shield coming up big. Are they doubling into my token tomorrow? But spiky shield comes up so big because if they hit me with a physical attack move, they're going to take some damage with it. But there we go. The weakest policy punks on that road, Tom. That is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. Maybe I just should have zing zapped the, uh, the scrafty, but I feel like that hydro pump would have took me out there. Here comes the drain punch. Dude, we eat that up all day, baby. We eat it up all day. All day, you barely get any HP back, and we're gonna be able to take them out in one hit. I'm surprised the paralyzes didn't come out better than they normally do, because usually they'll be paralyzed. I don't think they got paralyzed once. Like they are paralyzed, but it didn't affect them yet. Didn't affect them. You guys know what I'm saying. But Sing Zap's gonna pop here, going to a little bit of a Draco meter just to finish off this game. Say night, night. Let's go, dude. I told you guys. I told you guys. Look how good this team was. Took tomorrow's chill there the whole match. Played the whole match. Just dominated, put paralyzes on, just pestered everybody. Fake outs, spiky shields, distracted everybody. Oh my lord. Then Draco Meteor comes in here and finishes off this game. Finishes off this game. I'm telling you guys, I've been absolutely dominating with this team. Absolutely dominating. I hope you guys do use it and are able to push Master Ball tier if you haven't already. This guy doesn't want it. He does not want the Token of Maru sauce. Token Maru is going to lead once again, come out hot. Probably going Braviar again. Let me look at his Pokemon one more time before we choose Braviari over Weezing. Yeah. Okay, Braviari is coming out here because he doesn't really have any, like, abilities that's going to affect us. And we're going to go into them too. Then who is our physical attacker? Are we going Drill or Gary the Gyarados? Oh my god, we need Drill here. Drill, come on down. Drill, come on down. I think we're going in with that same squad. I think same squad just rocks out here very, very hard. We're going to go with this. Rock out from here. Just get rolling. Hopefully we can uh, set up a little Paralyze. Who do I think he's leading? Durant, probably. Probably Kevin Durant right down there. And then probably, um, Togekiss. Or Snarl. Or Snarl. I can totally see a Snarl. Not Snarl. Why am I calling him Snarl? It's because he uses the move Snarl. The Arcanine. He might be bringing the Arcanine. He's struggling to pick right now. I can tell because he has 20 seconds left. And he finally picked. He's struggling. He's like, dude, that boy's got a little mouse token tomorrow. That's gonna muff me up. Yeah, he's coming for your throat, little boy. <laughs> Like, could you imagine waking up, just having, like, a token tomorrow, like, in the corner of your room, just like, like, oh, <laughs> I can just imagine it now. Like, I don't know what to do, like, just a little token tomorrow, do you be scared or not? Like, <laughs> but it goes to the kiss in the pole. The kiss in the pole, I can totally see a Dynamax popping out from one of them. Um, probably Ally Switch gonna set up some screens with that one. We're gonna set up the Tailwind, and we are going to paralyze the, uh, the what's it called? I'm gonna paralyze the token kiss. I feel like that's a screen setter upper, the Dragapult. I'm going to paralyze the Togus here with a little bit of nuzzle action. With a little bit of nuzzle of wuzzles. A little bit of nuzzles. Dude, Braviar is sick, dude. He is sick. Just his colors and the way he looks is, like, spot on. He's going to Dynamax. Dynamax in the kiss. Are you with Dynamax in the kiss? Let me double one into my uh, Braviar. Just try to stop the Tailwind. Kiss is going to get Dynamax. Good thing we went for the Paralysis. The Paralyze, I was going to say Paralysis. Either way, it works out. We're going for the Paralyze on the Toad Kiss here. What you want, fool? No, oh, Dragon Pulse should go first. Let's see. Dragon Pulse going to reflect. Yeah, this is why I thought it is a real, like a reflect setter upper and all that. And can we go first? Yeah, we go first. Get that nuzzle. Hopefully, he will not be able to move. That would be dope. That would be dope. That would be a huge play from the Toad tomorrow. That one comes out here. And we'll be able to get up another nuzzle on this next hit onto that Dragon Bolt. Just kind of have them all paralyzed here. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! Token Amaru coming up clutch. Um, we're going to protect here. I am going to protect. And we're going to go into another nuzzle here over on the Pult Ski. Trying to get a double little paralysis. He might go for an ally switch. Ravier is going to protect. 
He might kill for an ally switch, not even gonna lie. Because he's probably an ally switch uh, Dragon Ball. Let's see. No, he does not. And we get another Paralyze on the Dragon Ball. Both of them down in the dump. Imagine if they both can't move. That'd be hilarious. Dragon Ball goes for the Will-O-Wisp. We're protected, boy. We are protected. Who's gonna go after from here? Max Flare onto my Togemaru, probably. Yeah, my Togemaru is Sash. He is Sash. Which is lovely. Which is lovely. And we can go into a Zing Zap from there. And we just wasted out, like, all the turns there. We just wasted out all of his Dynamax turns. That is huge. That is huge. Both these Pokemon are paralyzed, and we are chilling from here. We're totally chilling. Um, what are we going to from here? I say we just go into a Brave Bird. I'm not really worried about the pole. Like, I'm not worried about the pole. We're going to go into a Brave Bird and a little bit of Zing Zap action on the Tokus. Double into it. Do some work. Let's do some work from there. Togemaru started off strong. Beautiful start from us. We're chilling. His Dynamax is basically gone, and we have our extra control and or Duraludon in order to rock out in the back end for the and my Braviary is still sitting fine. Helping Hand pops out here. Oh, hopefully he is paralyzed here. That would be hilarious. Let's do some work. Sing's at... Do a little bit of damage. Hopefully this thing is paralyzed. He's going to come after my Braviary. Braviary does a little bit of damage. Come on, be paralyzed. Be paralyzed, buddy. <laughs> yes! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, my lord. Token of Amaru, stop! Please, man, stop it! Just knock it off. We're gonna go into a protect here and go into another zing zap. On to the token kiss. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> this guy is probably so mad. He gets to protect. We're just gonna play this one slow with our togi. Little togi action here. Token tomorrow is gonna zing zap up. Yeah, oh, yeah, baby. Do some work. Take him out. Oh, so close. So close. Willowis pops here. Boom. Protect it. Yes, dude. We're playing this one well. Life dude's gonna pop. That's fine by me. You're still paralyzed, buddy. And now we're doubling into you. I'm, I'm trying to get up another Tailwind before we do go out. Um, my Token Amaru can take you out. My Token Amaru can still take out the Kiss here. Tailwind does Peter out, so we're going to go into another Zing Zap and another Tailwind. Let's take out the Toad Kiss here. Unless it goes for a Protect. I don't think it's going to go for a Protect. But what does Zing Zap do? It can make it flinch. See, I was right with the flinch. I knew it was either flinch or paralyze. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. So either like this thing's going to go. The Toad Kiss is going to go down here. Tokus is going to be gone here. If it survives, it's either paralyzed or flinch. Like, that's, a, that's a high chance. But by Tokus, Togemaru OP. God tier Pokemon. God tier Pokemon. Tailwind pops. We get another one set up here. And we're just waiting out these reflects and all that. We are really just waiting out these reflects. Will O Wisp pops here. Okay, going to take out my Togemaru. That's totally fine. Togemaru did his job. I wish he did not get burned. Considering we could have got off another nuzzle. But it's all good. It's all good. Who do we go into from here? I want to go into my Duraludon, actually. I really do want to go into my Duraludon. Dynamax him up. Maybe this might be the same thing as battle number one. Just showing this off. Because <laughs> I think we are going we might slap out here. But instead, the Token tomorrow went down in the beginning. But still, look at that. Beautiful job. The way out his Dynamax turns with the Paralyzes. We have the Dragapult Paralyze, who is like his, uh, his little Reflect Setter Upper and all that. Who's he going to go into from here? Gengar? Beautiful. Beautiful. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. We got the Tailwind set up, right? Let me let me make sure. We got it. Yep, Tailwind is set up. And we're going to pop off into this uh into this little pole here. We're going to start doing some work on the pole. And we're just going to pop off into a, a Max Darkness and take out this Gengar. We're going to take out this Gengar here. They buy the Gengar. Because I, like I said, I'm not worried about the Dragon Pole. It's not an attacker Pokemon. It's just like a Reflect, all that setting up Pokemon. So we're chilling. Hopefully we can take this thing out in one hit. Maybe I should have doubled into it. Maybe I should have doubled into it, but... I think we're going to be fine. I really do think we're going to be fine. The Roudon is an absolute beast. An absolute beast. It's just, guys, come on. What more do you want? What more do you want? Like, a Braviary and a Togedemaru just running a Dragapult and Togekiss? Like, come on. Come on. Get out of my face. Brave Bird pops. He hits pretty hard, too, the Braviary. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I had him hit, like, a truck before. Like, he hits, uh, like, a truck against some Pokemon. So, yeah, Max Darkness comes out here on the Gar. Takes him out. Oh, down to the Sash. Down to the Sash. He's going to get one hit off on us. That is fine by me. That is totally fine by me. The Sash comes out. But we are going to drop the Special Defense here. And the Shadow Ball is going to pop. Oh, that's a wicked damage. That's some wicked damage. I ain't going to lie. And the Light Screen's going to come up here. Light Screen's going to come up here. I'm going to go into a Max Wormwind onto the Dragon Ball to take him out. And then my uh, Braviary is going to take out this uh, Gengar. Because I know the Max Wormwind can just one-tap that thing. And we won't take a lot of recoil damage if we go into a Braper with 1 HP. But we're totally chilling. Max Wormwind popping over here. This should be able to... She's just going to put a nice little bow on this match here. 
We're gonna take this victory and run it into game three. He's gonna withdraw the Gengar. Good thing we are not going after you. And the Duraldon does pop. The Duraldon does pop off here. We still have our Tailwind. We're chilling. We're gonna get a Brave Bird off on that. I still have my Chewy Scarf extra, which will probably outspeed any of his Pokemon right now. But let's go, Brave Bird. Eh, just a little bit of damage. Not very effective. We're chilling. Just take a teensy bit of recoil. And then my Duraldon's gonna punk out on this Dragapult. Bye, buddy. See you later. Woohoo! MVP Togo tomorrow, my man. Oh my god, absolutely loved how we set up that game. We made some nice reads with the protects. Got both the paralyzes off, wasted his Dynamax, and just ran something. Just ran it. We were able to take out the Togekiss along with it before he either go out. I wish he didn't burn us, but then we could have paralyzed the Gengar or something. The next quick money would have thrown out. Do do. We still have the Tailwind, and we're just gonna go into a close combat here. And then we could go into a Darkness. I think close combat should be able to do work here. But I'm going to, uh, hmm. I guess I'll just lower the special defense here. Hmm. Wish I boost our defense. All these really don't do anything to us. Do I double into the route on? No, we're going to take out the Gengar here. I think this close combat can do some work. Potential KO? Gengar's going to protect. That's fine. He's dead. He's dead. I'm actually, it's, I'm actually hyped that we, that we went this route here. Because he will take some damage. There we go. Duraldon gone. And now this Max Darkness will hit through. Did I use Max Darkness? Oh, we get a crit. We get a crit, baby. You love to see it. I think we use Max Darkness. Or whatever Dynamax move we use will hit through to protect. And end this game. Let's get it. He quit. He turned off the console. <laughs> oh, my God. That is the best. I love when people do that. It is just so funny. Let's watch our hit go through. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he turned off the console. That is too funny. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to keep dominating with this squad. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going to try to get this win here. Going to try to go 3-0 with this wonderful double squad. Togemaru is coming in again, of course, getting that lead. He probably might lead a steel Pokemon. Might lead a steel Pokemon, so Weezing would not be a good call once again. Once again, Weezing would not be a good call. We're going to go Braviary here. We're going to go Doraladon into Gyarados. Route on into Gyarados sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Let's rock out with this squad. We're going to bring, bring in the Gyarados. Not showing off the Weezing in today's video. I showed them off in another video way before, so it's all good. It is all good. We're here to show off the little mouse Pokemon. The little mouse Pokemon, Token Mario, and we are doing that. He is rocking out here. Going into our third, though. Do we think we get three in a row? That's that. That's a stretch. That's a stretch. Three in a row is tough to get. But this team, where I won like six. I went six and one. On stream with it, like I said, and or five and one, one or the other. So we've been rocking out. That's like seven wins with only one loss with this team. So we've just been dominating. We've been dominating. Let's get into our final match. Look at this guy's trainer card. Again, not as good as mine. Mine is phenomenal. Mine is just phenomenal. Just dandy. Just beautiful. Who's he gonna lead though? Who's he gonna lead? Definitely the Whimsicott. Definitely the Whimsicott. But the Braviary is gonna be huge here. Trying to counteract the Tailwinds. The Lucario. Oh, is this beat up? This is beat up. He's beaten up. He's beaten up. We're gonna set up our Tailwind here. We're gonna, um, we're not gonna fake out. We are not gonna fake out here, considering the only reason we're not is because he's probably Dynamax and going for beat up. So we're gonna go here into the nuzzle, and we're gonna tailwind. We're gonna nuzzle that thing. He's gonna get get the beat up roll. He's gonna get the beat up roll. Because we can potentially go into a Brave Bird next turn. Potentially go into a Brave Bird on him. But you know it's beat up Lucario, but that shiny looks gorgeous. You know it's beat up. It's beat up Lucario. So he's probably gonna Dynamax use beat up on it. Unless he's trying to throw his curveball. Like it's just so easy when you throw when you throw these Pokemon out. It's just like we know what you're doing. It's so easy to read. I hope he throws us a curveball. I really do hope he throws us a curveball. Changes it up a little bit. Is he gonna swap? Is he gonna swap? We're not going for the fake out. I usually would go for the fake out. Oh, he's not going beat up. He is not going beat up. We're on one for one here. Stone Edge. Oh, he missed. That's huge. That is huge. Nuzzle pops out here. Yes, sir. Get that little nuzzle action here. Get that paralyzed. That is huge. That is huge. Oh, you hunk of junk. Oh, we'll just nuzzle you again. Oh, no. He's going to... Okay, he's going to get his defense up. Okay, I was going to say, you taking out my paralyzed? Our tailwind's coming up here. Do we just double into that Lucario? That's my question. I'm going to protect here. I'm going to totally protect. I'm going to go into a uh, a little zing zap, and I'm going to protect with you. Or do, dude, I could do some more. Do we, do we outspeed this thing? I'm going to protect here. I'm going to just protect. Play this one slow. I know my token tomorrow should outspeed it. I know my token tomorrow should be able to outspeed it. But I don't think he's going to Dynamax now that he is paralyzed. 
think he was planning to get off this Tailwind, maybe take off Sashes or just do some work. I wasn't expecting this thing to run Stone Edge, too. But I think he was planning on Dynamaxing in this turn, but I don't think he's going to do it anymore considering he is paralyzed. Like, I wouldn't Dynamax a paralyzed Pokemon. I would not. I would not do that. That could potentially be a waste. That could totally be a waste. Because imagine going up in your Dynamax and just losing one or two turns to being paralyzed. It's terrible. He's probably going to go for another Stone Edge here. We're going to go into the Protect. And the Moon Blast pops here. Mwah, get protected. What are you rolling into from here? Zing Zap. We go Zing Zap and y'all you, baby. Get him. Do a nice little Biddle. Nice little Biddle. Stone Edge pops here. Mwah, protect. Beautiful Protect by me. Honestly, that was a huge Protect by me. And we're going to roll into a little bit of a... Uh... Can I nuzzle you? Can I paralyze that? I'm not too, too sure. I think Brave Bird would, would be decent. Brave Bird should be able to take it out. Stab over on this Lucario. Or do we go close combat and just make sure this thing goes out? Nah, I think Brave Bird should be fine. I think Brave Bird should be able to take it out. Not even going to lie. Maybe we should have doubled into the Lucario. But the nuzzle, if we can paralyze that Wimscott, that'd be huge. That'd be huge. He's going to withdraw you. Awesome. We're going to paralyze whoever he comes in. A Togekiss. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Even better for us. We're going to paralyze Togekiss. Yeah, ye, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we do a decent amount of damage on that. Will my boy go first? Who's going to go first? Oh, yes. My Brave Yard does go first because that thing is paralyzed. Let's get it. Take him out. Take him to school. Let's go. Let's go. This elite is too strong. It's not even a hard-hitting lead. It just runs. It just, like, grabs the energy from the sky and just... Smokes them down. Like, just like, come on. What you want? We got the paralyze. We got the tailwinds. We got the damage. We got the lecture. It's just lovely. We can go into a close combat now on that thing. I'm gonna nuzzle that thing up. You know that for a fact. Get nuzzled, boy. You're gonna get nuzzled. I'm gonna punk out into a close combat here. You know what? I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna protect. Because how many turns left in the tailwind? That's my question. We got one. So if I can protect this one out and get another tailwind before my baby yard goes out, that would be fine. That would be fine. Just the Tailwind is what it's here for. It can do some damage later. But the Tailwind is what I'm here for. He's going to Dynamax that Obstagoon. He does not Dynamax that Obstagoon. Unless Protects go first. I think I think Protects do go first. Or second. Follow me. He's going to come here. Smart little play here. Maybe I should have went for the Zing Zap. We are Protecting. Let's see. Nuzzle comes out. Yeah, you do a little bit of damage. Zing Zap's going to do probably take it out. Zing Zap is probably going to take it out here. Get a crit. Oh, yes, sir. With a Nuzzle. Close combat. Oh, no. We are Sash. We are Sash, which is lovely. And I can totally see it going for another follow me here. So I'm going to go into a Tailwind now. But look at that. The defense fell. The special defense fell. And the Tailwind does peter out on both sides. On both sides. Oh, and his guts are going to pop here. His guts. So we cannot paralyze it. That's totally fine. Let's go into a Zing Zap and then into a Tailwind here. We're going to set up our Tailwind get rolling from there. He has guts. He's going to do some work. He's going to do some work. We know that for a fact. But we have our Gyarados and the Roudon in the back. And this whole team, well, not the whole team. It's just Wimscott. I'm not worried about the Wimscott. But their Togekiss and Obstagoon are under status conditions. Which is huge. We are sitting at a good advantage for the third match. Oh, my God. This team. This team. <laughs> oh, my God. I just can't believe it. I saw it. I saw the rental code for it. And I looked at the team. I like, looked at his EV spreads and all that. And I was like, wow, this team is solid. This team is solid. Like, this team could potentially do some work. Gonna take a little zing zap action from my boy. My boy Obstruct's gonna come in here. That's fine. He's gonna obstruct up. He's gonna protect himself. Zing zap. It's that's totally fine. We're going for a tailwind. Now you can't obstruct the next turn. We're gonna close combat into you. We're just gonna close combat into you. And then we're gonna nuzzle up on the on that what's it called? On that whimsy poo. That whimsy poo. He can't do anything. This guy can't do anything. Hopefully we can paralyze that thing. And close combat should potentially take out. Oh my god. How are we doing this well with just a Braviar and Togo tomorrow? Just these two Pokemon. It's legit just blowing my mind how we're just running these fools. Like this might be the best doubles rental team. Like it might be the best doubles rental team. Not even gonna lie. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. How are we gonna roll? How's it gonna roll here? My Togo tomorrow should be able to go first. Gonna be fastest on the field. I mean, Prankster might come out first. He's gonna Dynamax the Obstagoon. Not the Obstagoon. Not the Obstagoon. So he, he's probably gonna go before my uh, before my Braviary. My Token tomorrow should go before it. We cannot paralyze it because it's already burned. But I love that shiny. I love the colors on it. It has that awesome like pink, purplish, reddish tint to it, and then that cool blue. That cool blue one. 
I love that blue. But hopefully we can paralyze the Whimscott. I'm not too sure. It might not even affect it. Let's see. Nuzzle. Oh, it does affect it. Wonderful. Wonderful. I know it doesn't affect Grimstone. We get the Paralyze on it. Get a little Paralyze action on you. He's going to go for a Max Knuckle flying in on my bird. Or on my Maru. On my bird. My bird eats it up all day. We're going to do some work on this thing, I think. I think this close combat is going to do some work. Potentially take it out because he has a defense drop from his close combat. And our berry comes out. Dude, I think we're going to sweep. I think we're going to sweep with this. Oh my lord, are we gonna sweep with this? Boom! <laughs> oh my lord, are we gonna sweep with this? Dude, are we gonna sweep with this? You only need three Pokemon. You only need three Pokemon. I think that I only use the Brady R8, Token Amaru, and the Aldon in all three of these battles. This one we're only using Token Amaru and Brady R8. He's gonna send out his paralyzed Togekiss. We still have our Dynamax, but I'm not even gonna waste it. I'm gonna go. A little bit of a Zing Zap over on you. And then a little bit of a Brave Bird. We might be able to finish off this match here. This might take them both out here. Hopefully this guy turns off his console. Oh, he cancels the battle instead. Let's go, Swept. Swept them with these two leads. That is awesome. This team is phenomenal. This team is hands down one of the best double team on the ladder right now. It counters so much. You can counter the trick rooms and all that with the taunts. You can set up fake outs and all that. It's just amazing. Like, you guys just saw us run this. You guys saw us run it with the Bravey, Ari, Duraludon, and Token Amaru. The other Pokemon are huge on this team. We didn't even get to show them off. That's how strong the leads are. That's how strong those three Pokemon are for this team. But, guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely try it out. I promise you, if you learn this team, you can push Master Ball with it. You can push Master Ball with it. It is so good. I think I'm now like 8-1 and one with this team. 8-1, and 9-1. and one. Somewhere along those lines, just absolutely dominating in the Master Ball tier. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.